Erythropoietin is a glycoprotein synthesized by kidney and plays a major role in red blood cell production. Despite this well-known role, hippo is also found in the brain and muscle. In this review, we focused on the description of mouse model presenting chronic hypodeficiency. This line was obtained using a transgenic construct containing a SV40 sequence in the 5' untranslated region of the mouse hippo gene flanked on each side by 9 and 7.5 kilobase of DNA from the mouse hippolocus. This model was used in order to highlight the role of hippo in the response to hypoxia. Please tell us what are the main effects of hippo deficiency or anemia in hippo tag mice in normoxia. Compared to wild type, hippo deficient mice present changes at different levels of the organism. These mice have a lower hematocrit and hemoglobin concentration associated with a decrease in blood viscosity and red blood cells deformability. They also present left ventricular hypertrophy that leads to an increase in stroke volume and cardiac output. Higher angiogenesis was found in the heart and in muscles of hypodeficient mice. Well, now, what are the main effects of hypodeficiency or anemia in hypotag mice on parameters in chronic hypoxia? First, you have to know that chronic hypoxia was obtained using an hypobaric chamber. After 14 days, hemoglobin concentration remained lower in these mice. Furthermore, these mice didn't show the expected cardiac hypertrophy and ventilatory acclimatization to hypoxia observed in white-type mice. Hypodeficient mice also presented alterations in left ventricular function. Finally, when compared to wild-type mice, no alterations of muscle phenotype or functions were found in hypotag mice. Well, finally, what does your model allow us to conclude about non-erythropoietic roles of hippo? When we focused on signaling pathways in the brain and the heart, we observed changes in the P-STAT5, STAT5 ratio that suggested neuroprotective and cardioprotective effects of hippo. This experiment showed that hippo has crucial role other than red blood cell production and seems to be involved in several ventilatory and circulatory mechanisms of acclimatization to hypoxia. For more information, go read our paper.